what's up designers this video will be on my tvo designs page also known as i am to make i am to make a hicks and i will be dropping it as well on my beautiful bonnet babes i am to make a hicks too so welcome guys hey you guys i'm taping this video on a go but anyway yeah this is my little wrap situation and i decided to go ahead and share how i cert made it um and I decided to use my serger. It's always easier to serge them because that way the edges are protected. You don't have to worry about it unraveling, especially when you're using uh, cotton, I mean, some different materials that fray. Now, if you use a knit, you good to go. You can cut it and go. But this one, again, I use my serger. Check her out. And also, as you can see, it's white on the inside. And the way that I fold it, when I put it up, it for the most part it covers the white part where you can only see that part but either way it still gives you a good look on the go look and i have it to protect my locks um from all the dirt and debris and stuff like that so if you're interested in how i made this stay tuned okay i'm doing way less music and all the extra stuff i want y'all to feel the experience so right now I am going to okay see that one right there that um other print I'm gonna do another video on y'all check that one out too when it drop but we're going to work with this beautiful I like to call it sisterhood fabric you know because they got all pretty sisters and stuff like that you know but anyway this fabric was something I threw together one day going out the door and I never really finished the edges so today what I'm going to do is serge it together and give it a good finished look. The size of this fabric is actually 16 inches by 72. So the length again is 72. You can always make it longer. Um, the width is only 16 for this one. So it will be shorter than I guess you could say the other ones that um you generally find so yeah let me get my surgery together i want to make it look you know more live and realistic but anyway i put those two pieces together good sides facing one another and i'm going to stitch down that part Then with um surging, I always move my garment at an angle and I'm going to cut that piece away. And I'm going to start at the middle. And I'm just basically going to surge around the entire piece. I'm starting at the middle because I want it to be even. And I want to make sure it's even by starting on this side. But anyway. Again, I'm going to surge across here. Isn't this fabric beautiful? I have another one with um more blue tones to it. I think I did a um canvas with that one. But anyway, I just basically continue to surge down the long side, and as you can see, you can see how it um is cleaning those edges up and getting it right together. So I'm going to cut it away and my next step is to search down the short end which is 16 inches and we're going to start at the top and if it's any type of like with this one I think it ended up having some of the white um, on the end of it so I'm going to cut that off with my serger. Okay, 
Ooh, don't cut them ends. The ends coming up round nicely. And we're going to clean it up when we finish. But now I'm going to go ahead and put it under the serger. And we're going to go down this long end of the fabric. Which will take a little bit of time. But let's get into it. Okay, once again we're gonna clip that and it came out really really nice and as you can see I have another piece sticking out I'm gonna go ahead and cut the short end cut that white side off As we close into the home stretch, I'm going to turn it the other way and start from the middle to <laughs> the end. Okay, we have finally made it to the end. Gonna clip this away from the machine. Move it to the side a little bit. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to show you how it looks. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut any of the frays that I have. Well, any of the thread that I have left over because there's no fraying here. It's a bit wrinkled, but it's been worn already, so that's kind of how it looks. Um, again, I'm going to go ahead and clip those ends. And this is what we have. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go ahead and try her on. Ain't she cute, girl? Anyway, so I'm going to take the um middle and line it up to the back of my head. As you can see, my seam came out good and situated on my head now mind you this one is shorter than my others so it's not going to um go over the top of the head as much but it can be wrapped and um i'm going to go ahead and twist it all the way down like two strand twist and um when it's wrapped it's going to be um 
it's a it's not as heavy and it's a thinner type of wrap that goes on but nonetheless it came out cute and I'm gonna wrap it and I'm gonna tuck that piece and the little piece that's gonna stick out of the bag I can fix that but either way I think it came out very nice um yeah so something i was able to put on on the go um let me know what y'all think thank you for watching see you next time